All right, for those of you that are dealing with a Taurus, Scorpios that are dealing with a Taurus. All right, Scorps, let's see. If you are dealing with a Taurus, If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is very attracted to you. They feel a lot of passion, a lot of fire um, when they are in your presence. It looks like this person was determined to have you, Scorpio. Okay. You guys may do different. Um, <laughs> things for each other turn each other uh turn each other on on in different different levels different ways but what i am getting uh here scorpio is you you are the temperance so you try to keep this slow paced you don't try to move quickly with them and they're trying to move fast with you so spirit is basically having you um, test this slow down this uh, connection so this is her favorite champagne she knows her limit already right she knows that she needs to, to drink it in moderation right do things in moderation right so she knows her limit however what she does is test other people to see if they know their limit so that's what you're doing at this moment in true t true scorpio fashion um with a temperance showing up here. So what's happening moving forward, ooh, Scorpio, you're gonna get them more and more addicted to you to the point where they're gonna become so codependent on you. So be careful because I just talked, excuse me, I just talked about this as being her favorite champagne and what do people get addicted to? Alcohol and people. And being that this is showing up here, you guys could in end up so do things in moderation is the best thing for you because this person can be obsessing over you okay so you hear how serious my tone got in my voice um so you're going to want to make sure that you are doing things in moderation with this person because they could end up being very addicted to you so right now the three of swords is there you may end up disappointed or they may be in, end, up, end up disappointed because this person is seriously desiring you. At the top of this person's mind is the Knight of Wands and that represents some sort of desire, strong desire. All right. So with you dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus could really be um, into you. I'm going to leave, get those, I'm going to keep those cards that fell. So this person could be really, really, really into you, um, Scorpio. Look energy here so your energy could be consuming theirs and they probably can't even control themselves so be careful there all right so the world card is here the nine of pentacles they feel like they don't have to look any further but you may end it yep you're the one that's going to eventually um end it what is these this is advice Eight of Wands, they want to move fast with you. They're so curious about you. I don't believe this person has ever felt this type of energy before. They remind you of somebody from your past that became addicted to you. So this may be something, um, this may be something that you decide to end and stay single. Because you may find out so much stuff about this person that's going to, it, it could be that they have an addiction that you may find out that could come to light with the sun card and a codependency card, the habit card being there. So this is why spirit is telling you to do this, do things in moderation here with this, with this person. Okay. Message. <laughs>